If you are an African immigrant, if you live in America, if you live in the UK, if you live anywhere in Europe, and you have got the opportunity to interact with white people and black people, you have got the opportunity to interact with Nigerians and non-Nigerian Africans, let's say Ghanaians, South Africans, Cameroonians, and other Africans in general. Even if you are a Nigerian or you are not a Nigerian, you understand? You must have experienced this thing I'm about to tell you now. You must have realized this thing I'm telling you. I mean, the pictures, they speak for themselves. The videos, they speak for themselves. We have come across so many videos on social media where black people who are not Nigerians, let's say Ghanaians, South Africans, Cameroonians, you know, other, other, other Africans in general, we watch videos of them on social media, the way they try to make, the way they talk about Nigerians, the way a Ghanaian will talk about a Nigerian, you will know that this guy, this guy no go like day with Nigeria for one room. This guy will not, you know, go day comfortable at all to stay with Nigeria. You know, they comfortable near Nigeria. The way South Africans will talk about Nigerians, you know, the way they will talk about Nigeria, you, you will feel it that something is not going, something is not going between these two guys. Something is definitely missing somewhere. That goes almost same with almost all African countries. The way most Africans will talk about Nigerians. But recently we have been seeing shocking videos. And I begin to ask questions. I begin to wonder, how is it possible? How is it possible that white people will love Nigerians more than us Africans? Because I've seen videos online. I recently saw a TikTok video. Where this white woman is sharing her experience dating a Ghanaian and a Nigerian. She explained all the things we claim Nigerians are. How they go do this, they go do that, the guy go come tell our stories, blah blah. You know, as Nigerians, they I prefer that kind of guy by the way. And then on the other hand, she would tell how the Ghanaian guy was basically worshipping her, the Ghanaian guy was like like just under you know everything she says, the Ghanaian guy, like you know, she was basically running the relationship with the Ghanaian guy. But with the Nigerian guy, ah, the guy was showing her shaggy. But at the same time, the guy was sweet. At the same time, the guy was romantic. At the same time, the guy was soft. At the same time, the guy would tell, make her dream. The Nigerian guy would make her dream. You understand? But the Ghanaian guy was more of a boy boy. Yes, ma. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, you know how they, they, they see white people like God. You understand? They will just, they will just lie down for white people. So at the end, they now ask this white. Who do you prefer? She still loved the Nigerian. She still preferred the Nigerian. Now that got me thinking. It really got me thinking. And she's not the first. We have seen a lot of white people showing love and respect towards Nigerians. Towards Nigerians in general, the way they are, their character, their, their, their elegance, their way of spending, their lifestyle, the fact that they are strong, the fact that Nigerians stand up for themselves, the fact that Nigerians don't bow for anybody. You know, white people come out to celebrate all these great attributes about Nigerians. But on the contrary, Africans don't see lots of good things about Nigerians. We don't see lots. We don't, we don't really, we don't, even though they're there, we don't really try to portray it. We, we characterize them and limit them to Yahoo boys, noise makers, this and that, that, that. That's how we limit them. But unfortunately for us, white people are loving Nigerians more than Africans. White people are loving Nigerians to the point where these people are literally willing to move to Nigeria or become Nigerians or do whatever it takes to have more access to Nigerians. And it's shocking. And it's not just their culture. It's not just the way Nigerians behave or do things. Nigerians have pushed themselves to the point where they have to be loved, whether you like it or not. Because the kind of success they have achieved in the, in the field of medicine. Nigeria literally has the best doctors in America, in Europe, in, in the UK. Nigeria literally has the best engineers. Nigeria literally has the best software developers. 
Nigeria literally, I mean, I see articles like European people and Nigeria is the smartest people on the planet. I see articles like that online. It's very possible. They could be because of all the things they are doing. And you know why people love people that are extraordinary. They love people that attach themselves to success. They love people that are strong. They love people that can stand on their own. Unlike others who just want to beg. Who have made it up that once they see white man. Oh, oh, oh. They, once they see white man like this. Ah, the Nigerians. <laughs> they are just who they are. And that's why you see they are attracting and receiving so much love for who they are. And that is putting Africa on the map. No African country is putting Africa on the map more than Nigeria. No African country at all. The level of respect Nigeria has brought on Africa is too big. I think that Africans themselves haven't realized it. The level of respect Nigeria has brought on Africa. Today, your musicians from Africa can sit and talk with Beyonce. Your musicians from Africa can sit and dine with the biggest in the world. Can go anywhere and be proud. African food is becoming a delicacy. African Afro beat is because African wares, African traditions, African cultures are becoming a priority. Thanks to Nigerians. Because everywhere they go, they carry Nigeria along. If a Nigeria is living in the Atlantic Ocean, he will carry Nigeria food to the Atlantic Ocean. Carry Nigeria music, carry Nigeria product, they will carry everything about Africa into that Atlantic Ocean. And at the end of the day, it's paying off well, not only for Nigerians, but for all Africans. You see, the Europeans are loving them, the white people are loving them, Americans are loving them. And I think it's better Africans start loving Nigerians, appreciating Nigerians for what they are doing for Africa, so that Africa can do more, Africa can grow more, and Africa can achieve more. It's all about one Africa, it's all about love. Shout out to all my Nigerians doing well. Shout out to those of you in the UK, shout out to those of you in America, in Australia, in Italy, all over the world. It's all about love, guys. Thank you so much for loving me back. God bless you all. Cheese.